Good evening. Good evening, teacher. No. Hello. 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 Okay, welcome back. ¿Cómo estamos, clase? ¿Cómo nos va? How was your day? Did you have a good day? A bad day? Stressful day? No. Thanks. Uh -huh. Okay. Erwin, ¿cómo estamos, Erwin? ¿Qué tal su día? Let me know Hi. about your day. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm feeling better today. ¿Qué tal I, su día, Erwin? Try to think at night. Uh -huh. oh, fantastic day. Really? Yes. I try to think. To think. This uh, way, in my mind. <laughs> yeah, all the time I have, I want to say thank to the garden. Thank. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because if you think bad, you will, uh, your emotion will be bad. Yeah, right. If you have a problem, is in the, for me, the normal in the life, if you have a problem. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, it was a good day, an excellent day. You know, same here. Even though I had like four meetings today with a client. Yeah, it was a very busy day, I know. But yeah, it was a good day. So let me say welcome. Andres, he was the first one. Fredis, he is in the class already. Jocelyn and William. Hi, guys. How is it going? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, okay. Esperamos a sus compañeros. Please, I need to have like. 10 students, okay? So we're going to give them uh, two, from two to three minutes so they can join this class. Okay. Here we go. In today's class, we are going to introduce unit number three, right? Remember that we are just missing this one, unit number three and Number four. So let me show you the topic that we have for today. Here we go. Okay, class number 17, I guess. Let me see. Let me check. Okay, really need to be wearing my glasses, you know. Okay, let me say hi to Genesis, Lourdes, Doris, and David. Welcome back. Hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, David. I'm fine. You, teacher? Ah, oh, I'm very good today. I'm doing good. Okay, as you may see, if you go to the platform, there you have like an idea about the topic that we are going to be covering in each class, right? As you may see, we are just missing this week. And after that, we're coming back from vacation time, we're going to have unit number four or section number four, right? So as you may see here, we have the different topics. So um, the first one, the first topic that we're going to have today is not this one. Verbs followed by infinitives. Now this is going to be the second topic from this unit. So this one is the one that we are going to have today. Verbs. We are going to be working with gerunds and infinitives as well. Okay. Ahí se pueden dar una idea. 
del tema de cada clase, right? Five different topics, because we are going to have five classes uh, for unit number three. So that is the topic in case that you want to have an idea about the topic that we're going to have today, that is the topic. Let me show you the activity for today. Okay, do you still remember about gerunds? Okay, dear. What is a gerund? It can be a, a uh -huh. It can be a noun. A noun or? It can be a, a progress, a present progress. Okay, or we can say that a gerund, it can act as a noun as a or as an object, right? That's it. And what is an infinitive? ¿Qué será eso? I know you already know, right? But let's bring all that information that you have about this topic so we can have like an idea. Whenever we say infinitives, what is that about? ¿Qué es un infinitivo? What comes to your mind? Or how would you explain about this topic? You know, someone is asking you about this topic. Let me see what you know about this topic. What is an infinitive? Infinitive is the verb is without conjugation. You, uh -huh. you don't conjugate the verb, it's express the, 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 the main meaning about the verb. Okay, any other idea? Who wants to express? What is an infinitive? Because we already know what a gerund is, how it looks like, and the same, right? For infinitives. How do I know uh, how an infinitive looks like? Como luce un infinitivo? The first one is I uh, have a, the, the preposition to. Ah, okay. And right after? And thereafter, the verb without conjugation. Okay. To love, to rain. Those are great examples. To love, to read, to sleep. ¿Y cómo sería en español? ¿Cómo sonaría en español? To love, to read, to sleep. En español tenemos tres terminaciones nada más para infinitivos. Ar, er, ir. Uh -huh. Nada más. Amar, comer, vivir, sentir. Okay. There are only, o sea, es más fácil porque solo tenemos tres terminaciones y, y el verbo siempre termina ya sea en ar, en uh -huh. er o en ir. There we go. Ya, ya sabemos que es un infinitivo. Exactly. So, expresan algún tense los infinitivos. Past, present. Maybe present. Years, no, será que expresan presente, pasado, futuro. Maybe. What comes to your mind? Present, probably. Because ah. I can say I like to read. Ah, me gusta leer. Okay, so yes. simple yeah. present. Right? present. So this is yes. what we are going to find out in today's class. As the first activity, um, we are going to have these conversation questions because I really need you to Go ahead and practice, you know, because I know we all know about this structure. It's very easy to use, but in this class, we are going to learn when are we going to use gerunds and also infinitives in a sentence, and they won't have um, or they won't change its meaning, right? We can have gerunds and also an infinitive in, in a sentence, right? And we can express the same idea using these structures. Eight different questions that we have there, okay? Who wants to help me out reading these questions that we have here? Eight different examples and questions that you're gonna be working in pairs. I need three volunteers right now. So you can read. The questions that we have there. Okay, Jasmine, she's the first one. Me, teacher. Okay, David, who's the other one? 
Jasmine, she's the first one. David, second one. I want to do it. Okay, Madeline. Okay, yeah, of course, you can help me out as well. Leamos dos cada uno, okay? Jasmine, number yes. one and two. David, three and four. Uh, Madeline, five and six. And then you, Hennessy, seven and eight. Go, please. Okay, so question number one. What food have you never eaten but would really like to try? Okay. What is something you always intended to do but never found the time? Money. Excellent. Number three, what would be the best thing you could reasonably expect to find in a cave? <laughs> okay. Do you How know what you a mean? cave is? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know what a cave is, and, and I, I already be in a cave. <laughs> really? Okay. Yes. So, yes. what did you okay. find there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, number four. Yeah. How did you make yourself asleep when you can't seem to get to sleep? Okay, interesting. Next one, number five. What social stigma does society need to get over? Oh, no. wow. yeah. Yeah. Number six, have you ever refused to help someone? Interesting. Hennessy. Uh, when was the last time you decided to do something unexpected or crazy? What do you hope to achieve in the future? Okay. Eight different questions that we have there comments or questions about the vocabulary that we have here? Not really? I guess not, right? So, supposedly, yeah, we're going to have five minutes so you can go discuss these questions with a partner, right? But I know it will take a little bit more. After that, we're coming back to the main room and I'm gonna be sending you with a different partner. So you can get to know a little bit more about your classmates and have these conversation questions. Is it clear what we're going to do? Yes, teacher. Can you okay. put the, the questions in the sure. chat of the Zoom? Okay, sure. Aquí en Zoom se lo voy a poner, okay? En Zoom, aquí vamos. And also, I'm a... I'm going to be sending the same questions in WhatsApp. So you can have the same information in Zoom and WhatsApp. Okay, just give me a sec. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, David, are you start? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Now let me send this picture. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I cannot find this school. Avanzado dos, aquí está. Here we go. Okay. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. From five to 10 minutes. So you can get to know your classmates using this structure. 
Vamos a ver. Let me do something. Vamos a hacer algo ahora. Recuerden, es en parejas. Elijan ustedes con quién quieren trabajar. Vamos a ver cómo nos va. Pick somebody. Vamos a ver. Let me have ten rooms. Hagámoslo diferente. A ver, con quién. elija con quién quiere trabajar. Here we go. Ten different rooms. You're going to be the one who is going to be selecting the room in which you want to be working for this activity. Go class. Let's do it in a different way today. <laughs> but, but we need somebody to go into one room. Yeah. No, you can go ahead and pick one. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Elijan uno. Ahí es quien elija primero, el otro va a tener que unirse, you know? So, be ready. <laughs> Go and pick one of your rooms. Ok, William, he is in room number 10. Genesis, she is in room number 6. Ok, Doris, she is in room number 9. Fernando, he is in room number 10. There we go. So, Fernando and William, ya está llena la sala 10. There we go. Jasmine and Genesis, they are together, working together. Excellent. Janari and Doris, they are working together. Interesting. Who is in the room one? Nobody, I guess. Ah, Lourdes. Lourdes, she is in room number one. Okay, I go with Lourdes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the rest of you guys go pick one of the rooms. Okay, Freddy's, he is in room number three. There we go. Okay. There we go. Interesting. And Erwin, Janari, Doris, did you have a problem? Because I cannot see you in room number nine. Janari as well. Okay. Ok, Kenia está en la sala 2. Está solita. Kenia, she is in room number 2. ¿Alguien puede ir con Kenia? I'm still missing Erwin, Diego, y Andrés. You can go and talk to her, work with her. Muy bien. Who is missing? Ok, Janari, she is in room number nine. No hay nadie con Janari, she is in room number nine. Y Kenia está en la sala dos. I don't know, Erwin, if you want to go and join that room and work with Kenia. Yes, but I can do it in the, with the Zoom. Never, okay. never, never. Ok, let me help you. Don't worry. Yeah, I have a problem. Okay, okay. Okay, there we go. Muy oh, bien. So I'm just missing Andres and Harbin because, yeah, Diego, I guess he's not ready to participate today. Andres, cualquier sala, no importa si hay dos. You can go and join any room. Andres, en cualquiera de las salas. Tengo salas con tres. O con cuatro incluso. Don't worry. Go and join any of the rooms that we have there.
company? It's something that I always intended to do, but never found the time and money. Something that I always intended to do, always they are intended to do. <laughs> Okay. I, I almost try to do something that everything that I want to do. <laughs> I, yeah. Maybe I never want intended to 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 fly a plane, but maybe something like that. <laughs> what about you? Tell me about you. Maybe I I, I remember something. Uh, I don't know. No, something small is maybe take a trip long like out of the country i would like to travel sometime but right now it seems really difficult to do it you never go out of the country uh, no, never <laughs> nah, it's, it's a really nice experience yes it's it's interesting to travel yeah i imagine my co-workers yeah. travel travel a lot it seems cool. <laughs> you need to do you, you are single or married? I'm single. Ah, okay. You you have the chances. You have to <laughs> yes. Because you work for yourself, maybe your parents, but mm -hmm. but you have the time and, and it will be yeah, interesting. <laughs> it's interesting travel. Uh, I travel from from uh, Miami to Spain, eight hours flying. <laughs> it's a, a really, really nice experience because it's a big plane, a big plane with about uh, 600 people. Wow. <laughs> if if uh, uh, it's something like, uh, if you fly from, from El Salvador to USA, there are little planes. Uh, there are 30 people. And the playing uh, uh, move, track, 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 track. It's, it's, <laughs> yes, it's, like it's, it's scary. It's scary. Oh. But when you when you fly in a plane that wants, you will you see a lot of people going inside. Literally, a lot and lot of people going inside, and the plane is so high, so high, uh, twenty thousand feet. Wow. <laughs> and and it's, it's really, really peaceful, really nice. You only feel that you are uh, slippery. <laughs> a very good experience. Okay, I will try to save. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, you need to save money and, uh, and uh, you need to fly. <laughs> and you, you can do it. Yes. Yeah. You... Okay. I the, the third one. <laughs> I, I I wanted to write a book. I already write a book. I wanted to 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 travel, and I already travel. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe something like that. I wanted to to go to the Tour Eiffel, something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I never go to France or to Germany. Or maybe the far west, uh, far, far east, mm -hmm. something like uh, uh, Israel, something like that. No, oh, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three. What would be the best thing you could reasonable? How how do you say this word, teacher? Reasonably. Let me help you. Which one? Let me see. Re reasonable, 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 reasonable. Okay, reasonable. Like yes. Reasonablemente. Yes. Expect to find in a cave. <laughs> it's interesting. There is a when when you are in the Moncagua. I, I I think you are from from the east part, teacher. No. No, not really. Moncagua. No, but yes, Moncagua. Eh, Moncagua, there Morazán. is a cave. There is a cave. You go into the cave under the mountain. Really? And, yes, yes. There is a cave. You go under the mountain uh, with uh, you are fear because uh, there are sun falling, mm -hmm. but uh, 
many people go into the cave uh -huh. and, and uh, is uh, something clear at the, at the beginning, but uh, when you go into it's dark <laughs> and, and uh, you feel scary. <laughs> Really, you run out. that's really nice. You know, I have yes. never been in a cave before. Never, <laughs> never. So it's probably it's a great experience, you know, an experience you will never forget. Yes. yes. <laughs> Surely, I tell, I, yeah, I tell right? you, you never, you never so forget. So yes. what were you expecting to find in that cave? Or you um, weren't expecting? Well, when I was, before, when, when yeah, I was before, a child. Exactly, yeah. Tell okay, when, when I was a child, I, I go into the forest, into the uh, into the river, into the river, go uh, across the river, and uh -huh. uh, we find in the mountain, we find the caves, the little caves, and in the caves, we find uh, uh, snakes. Really? Snakes, so, uh, where, where were you born? I was born in, in the best city of El Salvador in Metapan. <laughs> Metapan, interesting. Yes. Metapan. And, uh, and uh, uh, we go into the, I don't know, forest? Yes, it's forest. Yes, because yeah, forest, it's, it's, yes. It's, 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 no es un bosque, pues, es zona verde. Y ahora, now it's uh, many, many houses. Uh, and uh, se perdió todo el bosque, pero yeah, yeah, right. hace 80 años, es, <laughs> eh, there were little uh, wild cats. Uh -huh. eh, you can see the cats, yes, the wild cats. Eh, eh, how do you say cazando? They chasing, maybe chasing, chasing mm -hmm. birds, chasing, chasing birds. another little animals. Yeah. You see snakes, uh, snake, big snake, but uh, snake that are not poisonous. Yeah. But the snakes that are uh, uh, something constrictor. That is the name of that the snakes. Okay. And uh, 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 big spider, big spiders, uh, really big spider. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and it is, but uh, we are many, many boys. And we feel great going into into something something it's like hiking, exploring, uh, right? Hiking and exploring yes. at the same time. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we find a little caves, and, and in that cave was uh, uh, wild animals like that uh, wild cats mm -hmm. and uh, like snakes and and something like that. Okay, so interesting. I don't I don't know what. Uh, in the world is. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what would you expect? I, mm -hmm. well, I think it depends where is the case. <laughs> All right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was only in the park, uh, Walter Denninger. That is, ah, uh, it's, uh, it's yes, kind yes. of small. Mm -hmm. The weird thing is there is that inside the cave you feel like cold. But in the park is like hot, <laughs> okay. but there were only bats, <laughs> a lot of bats. Yeah, a lot of bats, right? And spiders, and we don't really like them. You know, <laughs> I guess I remember the first time that I was inside of a cave, it was a very small cave. Uh, when, what's the name of this place? Suchitoto, Suchitoto, right? Hay una cave, like a, a small cave. But there inside, it was just a picture. It was a picture of a man who supposedly, right? Uh, he lived there. I don't remember that for cave. how long. Yes, he lived there, you know, for a long period of time. So he was living by himself there, you know, because to get there, you need to uh, get across uh, the lake that we have there. Uh, yes, Suchitran. Yes, so I didn't know about that, you know, it was interesting. So I was expecting to find, you know, something different, but it was interesting at the same time. So you see, this is what we were expecting. To do. So keep on talking. Excellent. You're doing a great job.
practicing the vocabulary <laughs> and the structure as well. Estamos practicando la estructura at the same time. So, okay. continue, guys. Go ahead, Lourdes, with the next sentence. It's... How do you make yourself? Hi, Thoris. Hi, teacher. Doris tuvo problemas with the internet connection, or what happened? In my Zoom, I don't know what happened. Uh -huh. Uh, when I inter inter and break out, is is a se tarda mucho. I know. So uh, if you want, we can practice here. Practiquemos acá. Don't worry. We okay. are going to practice. You know. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the questions that we have, and mm -hmm. let's discuss about it. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. So you can practice. Remember, this is time to practice. Number one. What food have you never eaten but would really like to try? Tell me. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know, but I, I really uh, eat uh, um, Food, uh, Arab food. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, yes. interesting, right? Yes. So would you like to travel and try a food from there or probably look for a restaurant here in El Salvador so you can yes. try it? I like to travel, but <laughs> it's not possible. But <laughs> I, 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 I really, uh, go go uh, uh, go to a restaurant. Okay, in yeah, El right. Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in El Salvador. Yeah, we don't have yes. any other choice. Yes. Okay. In my case, probably I have never eaten. What else? Let me see. Snakes. <laughs> you know, oh. have you ever seen people who? They eat like snakes or even frogs, like no say yeah. many yeah. type of um, yeah. food, you know, that I have never tried. So I would yeah. really like to try because they say that if you eat snakes, it tastes like chicken. So I'm yeah. very curious about how the flavor uh, of those uh, are. See, yeah. <laughs> uh, they people say too, they mm -hmm. when you eat uh, uh, that's that's meat. Uh, you lose the sensibility. Really? Yes. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. So no, I don't want <laughs> in in your body. In Wait. your uh, yes, in your body. You when you uh, when you had a had a. a when you paint, paint uh, 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 anything part of the body, no, they are insensible. Really? So no, no, no. In that case, no. Yes. I don't want to try it. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. Read number two and let me know about your opinion. Um, in my case, I like, I really like to plant uh, uh, aromatic plants, my, uh, but I don't have a time. Yeah, uh, right? Yes. So plants, you know, do you have a big or a small garden? A, a, a small garden. A but small the garden. Plant, plant is uh, like a uh, menta. Uh -huh, exactly. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, pesto, este, eh, albahaca, albahaca right. so see that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, in my case, I really love doing that, you know, gardening, but no, I don't know. Have you ever heard about this? The people say, no tienen la mano para sembrar, dicen. I don't yes. know what do they really mean about that, 
but mm -hmm. I have tried like twice, you know, mm -hmm. trying to or growing a kid tomatoes i guess okay. but no it didn't work mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't know what happened uh -huh. so probably right with with these herbs como menta right or all of those herbs okay. yeah i would try as well okay Let's but it's it. interesting so yes we have like the same goal something that we really intend to do but never find the time and the money excellent number yes. three what would be the best Thing you could reasonably expect to find in a cave. ¿Qué podríamos encontrar en una cave? Eh, animals. Yeah, right. Yes. Probably snakes. So snakes, yes. Yeah. Bats. Yes. Bats and ghosts. <laughs> yeah, spiders, I don't know. Spiders, yes. Yes, yeah, spiders. I, 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 I saw the film. I no, I watched the films uh -huh. in, in Netflix. Is the the, <laughs> the about the uh, cow? Uh -huh. When you enter in the cow, you uh, the person travels a other time. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, before or after? Or, or after. So in the past or in the future, right? In the past or in the future. And what is the name of that movie? Yeah, I don't remember. You the... don't remember, but it's on Netflix. But I, yes, in Netflix. I saw it in the mm -hmm. Netflix. Yes. In, 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 the, in, in the first, uh, one person uh, entered at the cave and después after the sun mm -hmm. enter in the cave looking at uh, uh, her uh, her uh, her uh, mm -hmm. his father ah his father okay yes after uh, other other friends entering on the on the uh, cave looking at the at the uh, uh, him <laughs> okay imagine so no in yeah. my case I wouldn't really like to find mm -hmm that in a cave you know because imagine what if you travel in time and you go to the future but you want to come back but you cannot in the end so no 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 not really yes yeah so mm -hmm. number four how do you make yourself sleep when you can't seem to get to sleep what do you do uh... Sometimes uh, I, 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 I saw my phone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yes. No, I but saw. in that way, you don't get to sleep, I guess. Uh, we just spend more time, you know, checking the social media, watching videos. Yes. So, yeah. In yeah. my case, I guess whenever I really want to, go to sleep in a very fast way mm. i take a book and i start reading <laughs> so that is a very good way in which i can okay. yeah i get to you know, sleep in a very fast way to yes. read a book read un libro, it uh, really works you know <laughs> Are you... i read uh, i read in twitter okay, when, yeah. you, when you uh, push in mm. In middle of the in middle of the finger. Uh -huh, really? You you can you can sleep so fast. Yes. Really? See? Okay. Yeah, wow. in, the, in, in, in between in Menique uh -huh. and the other. Yes. Wow. Yes. 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 I, I last night I proved it. I working really? <laughs> yes. It worked. Yeah. Okay, interesting. See? So I would try to do that, you know. Vamos a ver si funciona. With mm -hmm. me. See? Number five. What social stigma does society need to get over? Uh, I I like to 
the stigma with a, a, a gay persons. Exactly, right. Exactly. Social yes. stigma. Yes, it's so difficult when I I read in the social media uh, some some people uh, talking about with a uh, prejuicios is uh -huh. there we go mm -hmm. similar to what we were discussing right in previous classes. Hablamos de muchos ejemplos at work, you know, this type of uh, stigma, right? Yes. So yeah, I would really like to do the same, like reducing or avoiding this type of stigma, you know? We mm -hmm. need to accept people, you know? It doesn't really matter if, um, if they like, you know, or I don't know, the same gender, you know? In yes. this case, yeah, we really need to respect. Yes. So, yeah, that is like a, a very common social stigma. Yes. Very good job. Number six, have you ever refused to help someone? Um, uh, sometimes I refuse to help someone when this person is in the when I first, uh, first I try to help anything, uh, anything person. I don't, I don't care the, uh, what is the problem that this person. Mm -hmm. But is this is this is person sometimes is a um, bad, no, I don't know, mal agradecido, no, mm -hmm. I don't know. and and I I don't try. To, to help anymore. So, so, oh, okay, I see. So see. the first time you don't really care about who this person may be, right? Yes. But yeah, exactly, I know. It mm -hmm. really happens, you know, because sometimes um, we don't care about people, but then they don't really like to uh, recognize or, or we are not expecting for them to do that but at uh -huh. least to say thank you you know or to <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah it's it is really nice when people uh, get back to you and say hey thank you for helping me but most of the time yeah people they don't really like to do that so yes. yeah interesting uh -huh. Number seven, when was the last time you decided to do something unexpected or crazy? Mm, when uh, the, la the last time, mm -hmm. well, I, I decided to buy this, my, my glass, uh, uh -huh. yes. This is a different glass. And wait, yeah. uh -huh. Let me see. This is a different glass. And when I I visited at the at the uh -huh. opera, I uh, the stomatologist uh -huh. uh, said me, "Oh, you need a change to glass." Yes, I need, I need, I know. But yeah, and you can choose this day, this day, this is uh -huh. this model. Okay, yeah, so nice, okay, what? so pretty, pretty gorgeous. And when, when, uh, what, how much is, how much is the cost? Uh -huh. oh, oh my God. 600. <laughs> really? Those yeah. were very expensive glasses. $600, my God. <laughs> no. uh, but you like them. I you really like, like them. Oh, uh, no. uh, that's a lot uh, of money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> but it's a, uh, uh, but uh, I need to, to, the the doctor explained me 
when the, the glass sound like the clothes, there are a... Uh, um, exactly. Some, some brands, uh, specialists in, in, in definite, in determining uh -huh. uh, model. And you, I, in, 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 he said, that you need this model because your okay. face is, your face is, is, uh, exactly. It depends on the shape, the shape yes. of our face. This is like the ones that we really need to pick, right? Exactly. Uh -huh. You know what I have heard? That this is yes, as an accessory. So we yes. need to be wearing the glasses every day, right? So yes. they really need to match with mm -hmm. our face shape. Match. You think? Yeah. yeah, right? Match with the face shape. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So yeah, enter, but the, mm -hmm. those were very expensive glasses. In my case, the last time I decided to do something crazy, it was in 2020, right? Mm -hmm. During the pandemic, you know, I was at home, I as everybody, right? We were spending a lot of time at home. So I decided I really need to get a new haircut. Me mm -hmm. el pelo, I got my hair done by myself. Mm -hmm. but it, it was so short, you know? As mm -hmm. of right now, yeah, it's very long, you know? Just tan yes. largo. Mm -hmm. but, you know, I decided to do so because I thought I needed to change, you know? I needed a new haircut to feel better, but no. It didn't work. I was feeling so depressed yes. because I didn't like the way it looked. So yeah, it was last time. Mm -hmm. Last one. <laughs> what yeah. do you hope to achieve in the future? What are your goals, your plans for the future? I, I hope uh, to travel. Okay, interesting. I, I hope to... Uh, a uh, repair or with healthy. Okay. And, and I hope I I hope this I will see my my grandson. Okay. Where so, does he live? Huh? Where does he live? Your grandson. My live my the, my grandson uh -huh. lives now in Germany. Really, he lives yes. in Germany. How yes. old is him? But I have two two grandson. Okay. But the older is uh twelve years. Okay, he's twelve. And the younger is uh nine years old. He's nine. Okay, one is twelve, and the other one is nine. Very nine. good. Yes. And they don't live in El Salvador. No, I uh, they they born here. They were born here, okay. But uh, the after my your daughter? No, my my son-in-law uh, get a get a a, a job in okay. in German. He got a job in Germany. Oh, wow. German. yes. So they had to travel to move yes. to, to move. Germany. But uh, 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 my, my daughter like it, like really? it, so like it. And in and, and the beginning, no, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do in she Germany. Want, she wanted yeah. to come back to El Salvador. Yes, but uh, now I, I uh, she like it. Oh, really? Yes. So, is this going to be the first time that you visit them there in Germany, or not? Yes. Have you ever traveled before? Yes, uh, I visited three times. Oh, okay, interesting. Yes. Three times. Yes. The last time I visited, I visited in in Christmas. Oh wow! And that is I special time. It's so beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Wow, I can imagine. Yes, it's, yeah, it's, it's the, the, the country slice 
In German, it's so beautiful. Really? Yes. Sí, yes. So are you planning to go this coming Christmas? Yes. Or before? Uh, I, I plan to visit it, uh, but no now. Uh, but uh, I, I hope the next or oh, next year. Oh, next year. So yeah, you will really have to wait for a little bit. Yes. So interesting, you see? Eh, this mm -hmm. is a very good way to practice. Muy bien. Estamos bien, Doris. You can express your ideas in an easy way, okay? So we just mm -hmm. need to practice, okay? Practice okay. and practice and practice. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Let's bring your classmates back. Okay. Thank you. No, oh, you're welcome. It was, it was a pleasure. <laughs> Okay. Okay, guys, before I listen to your replies, let me check the attendance list. Vamos a ver who is in the class today and who's not here. 26. Okay, here we go. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo, he's there. So okay, okay. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Uh, él escribió que iba a estar de oyente, pero ahí está. Okay, thank you. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I do. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Arvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Yasmin Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Telma Cleopilde Peña Martínez. Present. Good evening. Excuse me for coming late. Okay, it's nice to have you here. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay. So let me listen to you guys. Eight different questions. Did you finish? Did you have? Yes, teacher. Did you have time to finish? Yes. Yeah, you did? Okay. To get to know a little bit more about your classmates. In my case, yes, I had a time to talk to Doris, you know, interesting conversation. Also, we have eight different questions, you know. Let me see. Uh, Telma, please read the yeah. first one and ask one of your classmates about this question. Number okay. one, go please. Okay. What food have you never eaten but would really like to try. Okay, Tom. Excuse me? A quien elegimos? Who wants, who wants you to participate in this moment? 
Um, what do you really want to? Andres. Okay, Andres. I don't know, Andres, if you're ready to participate. Sorry, teacher. I, I have an emergency. Okay. So don't worry. Excuse me. I'm Excuse back me. again. You're back, really? Yes. Okay. So interesting. Okay. Let us know about this one. Number one. Sorry, I have what? to read. Okay, tell me, ask the question. Okay. What food have you never eaten but would really like to try? Maybe a uh, rabbit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rabbit. But it is delicious. <laughs> really, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I have, in my case, I have never eaten rabbit before. <laughs> so, rabbit, interesting. Okay. In your case, tell me. Tell me about you. Uh, um, my answer? Yeah. Um, I will never eat lion or elephant or um, airworms i don't feel like it <laughs> so you would really like to try lions and elephant no 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 i i i will never eat ah okay you will never never eat yeah. but, but take a look at the question it says that you would really like to try, que le gustaría probar. But never eating, but would really like to try. I don't know. Uh, maybe some popos <laughs> in his alcohol. <laughs> some popos, yeah. 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 Some yeah. popos, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Erwin, this is for you. Number two. Read the question and let me know about your response. Number two. Okay. Number two. What is something you always intend to do but never found the time or moment? Yeah? Yeah, that one. Daddy? For me? Yeah, for you. I can see you. Mm, well, I was thinking in that question uh, with Lourdes, and I was telling her that I, I can't find something, maybe to fly a plane, maybe. Oh, really? Something like that. Uh, uh, recently, uh, a student of mine, that was uh, graduated from high school uh, the last year. Okay. This year he, he graduated, no, she, she graduated like a pilot. And uh, she sent me a, a, a video that flying a plane. Really? And, uh, and I asked her, okay, you, I, I want to, to, to go with you in that plane, but maybe something like that to fly a plane but uh, i i can think in uh, another thing that i want to do mm -hmm. okay and, uh, yes there we go and in your case erwin what is something you always intended to do but never found the time and money surf oh surfing yeah, no, surfing, surfing yeah, it's so difficult when I was young, I don't have a surf. Okay. This is one example. Interesting example. Yes. Excellent. Surf. Go surfing. Okay. Let me see. Next one. Do the same, okay? First, you are going to pick one of your classmates, and then you are going to let me know about your response. Fernando. Uh, I have to... Yeah, shows. read the question, then pick one of your classmates, and after that, you are going to let me know about your response. Okay. Uh, 
Ok, the, the eighth one. For... Mm. Yeah, read the question. Question number okay. three. Three. That, that is the one that we have. Okay. What do you have to achieve in the future? The... Ah, but that is the last one. Number three. What would... Ah, number three. Yeah. Okay. What would, you, what would be the best thing you could reasonably expect to find in a cave? Okay. Reasonably expect to find a cave. Uh, to Jarvin. Okay, Jarvin. And then you. Okay. Okay. Okay, hello everyone. I never think about it, teacher. I have to be honest. Really? I never think to visit a cave, so. I, wow. I don't know why do I have idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, probably snakes, <laughs> spiders, <laughs> I don't know, a treasure. Okay. Just think about it. Find your case, Fernando. In my case, well, first I have to think what is Question, I believe, for a, for a person because maybe <laughs> okay. so, you have different expectations about yeah. that. But, uh, in my case, to uh, maybe normal things that like animals living oh, there, yeah, or, right. uh, maybe we can find some mineral, expensive mineral like <laughs> gold or I don't know. Yeah, right. It, Why not? Yes, that, that's it. That's it. Interesting, interesting. Janari, number four. Read the question, pick one of your classmates, and then you are going to let us know about your answer. Here we go. How do you make yourself sleep when you can't seem to get to sleep? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I say a number, teacher. <laughs> a you number? Why not a name? No, I don't like it. How do you Why make not? yourself sleep when you can't seem to get to sleep? Mm. Okay, tell me a number then. Okay, number seven. Seven. But it's Fernando. The next one, Francisco. Francisco, he's number nine. <laughs> okay, I try. <laughs> I do like to listen to music when I can sleep. Okay, to listen to music. That, yeah. Does it really work or not? Yes. Yeah? Yes, work. Okay, what type or what kind of music do you listen? Um, romantic music. Oh, interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but right. the all the old music, for <laughs> example, uh, Roberto Carlos. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Any other advice, Yanari? Um, I never um suffer from insomnia for, for <laughs> oh, really for, for yeah I I sleep. In, in the immediately, immediately when Heavy I go to the bed, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because I I try to go to the bed and I, I try to sleep when I feel really tired. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's in like eleven or midnight. Really midnight. Yeah, yeah. In some cases, I sleep. At 1 a.m. So you get to sleep just like four mm -hmm. But I hours? have other, other, other things uh, to do for other business. Oh, really? So you mm -hmm. have like extra activities to do before yeah, you go to bed? Yeah, I have extra activities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. why. Yeah, it's for that reason. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. William, go ahead, read number five, and do the same. William. Uh, what social stigma does society need to get over? Mm, I don't know, teacher. Maybe 
women can't do equal like men. I don't know. Okay, interesting. Interesting example. Now pick one of your classmates. So we can know about what uh, they think about. Okay, Doris. Doris. Okay. What is the question, please? Social stigma. What social stigma um, does society need to get over? Uh, for me, uh, the stigma for the case peop people. Which one? Case people. A gay, gay people. Uh, ah, la yes. comunidad. Sí, yes. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because I, 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 in the last times I work with a, 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 a person, a gay person, he, this person is a really, really a nice person. Is is a very nice person. And he, he helped me so much with my, in my job. When when uh, when I I I knew a new employee in this in this company. Oh yeah, right. So yeah, uh, discrimination, especially yes. right with LGBT people. You know, the community. Yes, exactly. But this yes. is very common nowadays. Yeah. So yeah, very good example. Let me see another one. Kenya. Number. Six. Go ahead, please. Um, have you ever refused to help someone? In my case, I don't think so. I always try to help people if they need it because I know that someday I will need the help. Actually, my company, um, they are recruiting uh, new people every month. And I try to train in them because I know how it feels to be the new in a company. And that's it. I'm gonna pick. Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah. So it's like the, if I ever refuse to help someone, right? Yep. Um, well, I have refused to help somebody, but not because I didn't want to help, but mostly because I wasn't in a position to help. Mm -hmm. um, I have this friend that if he was in a, in a relationship, he was having uh, relationship issues. And he wasn't asking like for someone to, li to listen to him or just someone to, I don't know, be compassionate for him. Mm -hmm. He needs someone to tell him what to do. And um, the problem with when you tell somebody what to do is that what you tell them may backfire and end up very, very bad. And then that's on you. So I prefer not to get involved. Yeah, okay. So probably you were not trying not to help, right? But not to get involved. Mm, not get so involved. in a way, yeah. <laughs> uh, love, love problems of someone else's. I mean, your own love problems can be messy. Why should you get in someone else's mess? Yeah, right. Yeah. So that was a wise decision. There, there we go. Okay, next one. Who is still missing? Francisco Andrea participó. Lourdes. Tengo a Lourdes acá. Lourdes. Hi. Seven. Uh, when was our oh, teacher? When was the last time <laughs> you decided to do something unexpected or crazy? Unexpected or crazy. Yeah. When I was telling David that I'm, I'm like an old lady, so I don't, I cannot remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't say that. Crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not really. I cannot think of anything. <laughs> okay, so pick one of your classmates. So probably he or she mm. can let us know about his or her experience. Someone that. Someone that hasn't talked? Yeah, please. 
Oh, well, in this case, I think Genesis. Okay, Genesis, let us know about your experience. Okay, uh, about helping someone? No, not really. The seventh one? Yes. Okay, um, well, actually, there are many things that I would love to do, but haven't done. <laughs> I think the craziest, <laughs> the craziest thing I haven't done and, and <laughs> could probably be the last time that I went, I went to cycling. How do you say? I don't even know how to say in Spanish. Uh, I went with my bicycle to ride bike, my bike. Bike riding, yeah. Biking, bike, bike riding. Biking, yeah. yeah. Biking, and I went by myself to El Parque Bicentenario. Oh, okay. And everyone was like, and you went by yourself? And I think that's the craziest thing I've done, and I want to do crazier, crazier things. But <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably the last time that I did something <laughs> crazy. Yeah, no, but that's interesting. You know, I guess Dari, she was letting me know about her experience. I don't know, Dari, if you want to share that experience with your classmates. She got a $600 new pair of glasses. Imagine. Oh, <laughs> wow. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> for your eyes. <laughs> well, if, if you can afford it, why not? Yeah. You, you <laughs> but in my case, I can. I can like, not, you know. <laughs> like my mom says, it, that's why I work and that's why I earn money. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess. And they really look great on her. Muy bien. Dari, that was her experience. Que me falta? Who hasn't participated? Diego, he's there, but he's not ready to participate. Okay, Freddy's last one. Go ahead, please. Number eight. What do you hope to achieve in the future? Okay, interesting. That will be for Jocelyn. Okay, Jocelyn. And then you. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, I have many uh, goals to achieve in my future. Hopefully, I can do it. Uh, but, uh, well, I hope to get a better opportunity in the life. Talking about a job opportunity, I hope to work with the government one day. Yeah, why not? Interesting. In your case, Freddy. In my case, it will be a better economy. All right. So, I think everyone expect a better economy in their future. Yeah, right. To get a better income in this case. Yep. Yeah, interesting. So I know you can do it. Class now that we have been discussing about this one. Um, ayúdenme. Identifiquemos in this case gerunds and infinitives. Voy a dar el control de la pantalla so you can go ahead and underline or put it in an, I don't know, lo que quieran hacer, right? But try to identify, wait, taking notes. In the first sentence, the last one to try is an infinitive. No, but le doy el control de la pantalla. Yo es que me hace como, I cannot, aquí está. Okay. Okay, try please. Anybody, cualquiera que pueda subrayar, here we go. You're gonna be the ones doing that activity in this moment. Just let me know. Si pudieron hacerlo o no. To try? Mm -hmm. I sound okay. Like to try, interesting. To do the second one. Uh -huh. Okay, interesting. Oh. <laughs> that was, I'm sorry. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> interesting, Francisco, David. Muy bien. This to get over is a phrasal verb. And it's, I think it's an infinity one, no. To get over. Okay. 
think. Yeah. Okay. Can I do it? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> to do. Okay. To achieve. Okay. To try, to do, to find, to sleep. How about number four? What is your opinion, class? Do we have just one example, get, single example, or two examples? To get to, to, to get, get to sleep. Uh -huh. to get to sleep. This is get to sleep. Mm -hmm. To get to sleep. This is the certain verb, teacher, or it is a a, a phrasal verb. Uh, it's two two verbs. Which one? In number four or in number five? Yes, number four. Number four. So, what is your opinion, class? In number four. To get, to get or to sleep, which is the one? What's the in the case of the infinity? Both of them to, are infinity. To sleep. How about to get? I think it's to get. Mm -hmm. Because without to get, it doesn't make it sense, makes right? Sense. So uh -huh. the main verb. Or yes, the main infinity, yes, to get. To get over, as David, he was mentioning as well. Yes, to get over, yes. To get over, yeah, but we have to get, to get over. Mm -hmm. And then we have to help, to do, to achieve. Interesting, as you may see, you have been practicing this structure and this is just the beginning of the class, you know, because we already know about it. But as I mentioned before, let me show you. And thank you so much for the ones who were participating. Let me show you this. There are some rules. Probably you're going to know about these rules or about this information. But in this case, as I mentioned before, these are some examples about verbs in which we can have a gerund or an infinitive, you know? And we are not going to have difference in meaning. Okay, take a look at these examples. We have seven different examples, okay? Same idea, but in different Words. Okay. Vamos a ver. Let me have three volunteers. It's time to practice. Mi Fernando. Fernando, he's the first one. Me. Go, please. Second one. In Fernando, Jocelyn, and Madeline. Go, please. Dos cada uno. Number one, two, three, and four, and five, six, and seven, the other one. Go, please. Okay. Read the verb and the example. Okay, begin. He began talking. He began to talk. Mm -hmm. Continue. They continue smoking. They continue to smoke. Madeline. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, go ahead. Don't worry. <laughs> hey. Do you hate working on Saturdays? Do you hate to work on Saturdays? Okay. Like, I like swimming. I like to swim. Okay. Madeline. Uh, she loves painting. She loves painting, right? Yeah. Okay. She loves painting. She loves to paint. Uh, Pat prefers walking home. Huh? but prefers to walk home. And they start singing and they start to sing. Okay, thank you so much. So class, uh, in your case, which structure you prefer to use in this case? Because remember, we can have a gerund or an infinitive, but this is the most 
common word. ¿no? ¿Cuál ocupan yeah. ustedes in this case? Because we can have both. He began talking or he began to talk? I think one, one uh, the infinitive sounds more uh, professional. No, not professional. It sounds mm -hmm. more serious, more. Then the other one sounds more informal. Informal, I guess. Okay, probably. Uh, so he began to talk like this one. He began talking. Depends. It depends, right? Continue. Depends. Or which one sounds better? They continue smoking, they continue to smoke. Um, to smoke, I think. Uh -huh. I think it depends. I think it, it is in some, uh, depending on what it is, it sounds more fluid with infinitive rather than the gerund. And yeah, right. Gerund, yeah. Exactly. You know, in my case, yes, I tend to use infinitives instead of gerunds. I don't know why. Hate. Do you hate working on Saturdays? Do you hate to work on Saturdays? Which one would you pick or which one would you use better? Working. Yeah, working, right? In my working. case, yeah, this one. Do you hate working on Saturday? I like swimming. I like to swim. I seen the first one, teacher. Swim. I like swimming. Yeah, right. I like swimming. Yeah. I like, I like to, swim. to swim. Okay. Love. She loves painting. She loves to paint. Painting. Painting. She loves painting. Pat prefers walking home. Pat prefers to walk home. Walking. ¿Cuál es suena mejor? Yeah, walking, walking, right? He prefers walking home. In my case, yeah, this one. Okay, singing or to sing. They start singing. They start to sing. Which one? Mm -hmm. They start to sing. To sing, okay. Mm -hmm. For you. So, do they have a difference in meaning or not? No. no. Not right? Mm -hmm. So, how many examples do we have here? How many verbs do we have here? Look. Seven different examples. And this is just the beginning, okay? Why am I introducing this topic with this example? Because these are examples in which you can see that we can easily use a gerund or an infinitive and we can express the same idea with both structures. But if you go to the book, unit number three, student's book, there we are going to find a short explanation about the topic and also similar examples and we have some extra examples about how to use verbs with infinitive or gerunds and with no change in meaning. Second activity, what do we need to do? We are going to working groups. I really need to go over this information, read the information that we have here, read the examples, and after that, as you may see, the last activity that we are going to have for this class is about this one. You really need to write two examples using both gerund and infinitive. So, as you may see here we have, um, or we are supposed to write those examples here, but no, what are we going to do? If you see, and if you go to the platform, there you are going to find section number three. Veamos que, que ejercicio es. Who can help me out? This um, 3.2. There you are going to be writing your examples, okay? Go to the platform. Video conferencia 3.2, this is the one. 
you scroll down y aquí está, miren, discussion. Here you're going to be typing your examples. So we are going to be reading your examples in, I guess, not today, probably tomorrow as the first activity in the class. Okay, so let me repeat the instructions for this activity. Go to your student's book. There you have the information on page number 23. Read the information that we have there. And after that, the activity that we need to have ready before we finish this class is this one, number six. So activity number five and number six. Questions about this activity. Is it clear what we are going to be doing in this moment? Yes, Francisco. Excellent. Okay, trabajemos en parejas. Here we go. Here we go. No. Hoy sí yo lo voy a asignar, okay, automáticamente. It's not me. Okay, class, time to work. Here we go. Teacher, you put me in two rooms, number two and number six. Okay, so go to number six. Okay, thank you. Okay, Doris, in your case, you can stay here, okay? Puede quedarse aquí trabajando, Doris. Don't you worry, okay? You can stay here. Okay, probably one of you can share screen so you can read the information in an easier way. Okay, try to do it. Please. Oh. Doris no la deja moverse a la sala 3. Doris. Did you get the invitation to go to room number 3?
Yo creo, no sé qué es la otra opción. Which one? Oh, when the, the teacher was sample, uh, follow, uh, short example. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And the second is I can't stand thinking about companies who don't protect the, the environment. I can't stand to think about companies who don't protect the environment. The okay. other is we love begin, we love being begin a sustainable and responsible business. I love to be a sustainable and responsible business. Okay, the number four says some companies that start preparing social program because they have been forced to do so. The SONS company start to prepare social programs because they have been forced to be so. Okay, mm -hmm. forced, forced to, forced. Forced, forced. forced. Uh -huh. and the other one, responsible, responsible. Number three. Responsible. Sustainable, responsible. Mm -hmm. Sustainable yes. and responsible business. Responsible business, interesting, excellent. So keep on discussing. Okay. Mm. Then we have to write to example. Jaron. Let's see. Where two examples of the own Germans and infinitive mm -hmm. each of the word right. Share, for example, with a partner. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can see the birds. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try. No sé si porque van dos juntos puede afectar, pero. We run to con. Ah, maybe. Aquí en vez de study. English program. Mm -hmm. Aquí me lo quiere, me lo quiere sugerencia. Uh -huh. No sé si está mal escrito. Which one? Ah, pues uh -huh. no está bien. ¿Cuál chica? Lo que, Which one? Lo que pasa es que, que uh -huh. el drive me está corrigiendo. Oh, para really? que lo ponga de esta forma, ¿sí? Prefer. ¿Ve? To continue. Sugerencia. But I cannot see that the correction. In serio, corrige. No, but that's okay. Me da sugerencia, no me está corrigiendo. Ah, okay. How oh, interesting. It's a suggestion. Yes, yeah, suggestion. Vamos por el segundo. Prepare, prepare. No les aparece la corrección. No. En azulito. But you're typing right now. No ven nada. No, we cannot. No. <laughs> I thought it was, it was me or my glasses, right? I need to get a hundred new glasses. Sí, es que tengo como tres emuladores abiertos. <laughs> tengo un montón de cosas. Y esta, ya tengo cuatro años de tener esta compu y ahora cambiarla. Ah, ya, yeah. ya nos está diciendo, we need a new one. That sí. is an excuse sí. to get a new one. Yeah, now we can. Ah, que más respuesta la vamos a pegar en, el, en la plataforma. Ya, yeah, please, there. So tomorrow we can check those examples. Pero okay. igual queda guardado por defecto. Ya que vamos a poner. Así lo hago. A ver, como dos. Ah, prepare. Una oración que prepare. Um... I prefer. Ah, no, sería. 
No, sería una computer que sea el computer el segundo verbo. Déjame ver. I prefer, I, te necesito un verbo antes y después prefer, preferring to prefer. Ajá. <laughs> ah, maybe, I am prefer, preferring, yo prefiero. Uh -huh. Yo prefiero, no, creo que me está, está funcionando mal. Preferring. I, I am preferring, so I work from home. Working to work, no, yes. Ah, mm, working. Preferring, working. Mm -hmm. But you know, in number one, we want continuing. It sounds a little bit weird, right? Sí. <laughs> so to continue, I guess, yeah, that's okay. We want to continue in the English program, but probably with continuing, tal vez no podemos utilizar want antes de eso, porque no suena nada bien. Okay. So let's look for another verb. So yeah, we prefer <laughs> now it makes sense. Hoy sí suena mejor, ¿no creen? Yeah. Sí, ya my no me opinion, hacer eso. that is my opinion, right? We prefer continuing now, yes. Pero we want, no, no me sonaba nada bien. Mm -hmm. Aunque estábamos siguiendo la regla. Pero no. Prefer, ahí estamos. There we go. So keep on working. Excellent. Ah. Uh -huh. mm. I'm preparing. Andres, who were you working with? Sure, teacher, I had a power outage, but I was with Jasmine. Really? So, did you have a group? Or not really? You didn't have a group? Uh, I was working with Jasmine. Jasmine, okay. Jasmine, yes, room number five. Okay. There we go. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, number four is like. Um, sentences with like. I like to go out. I like? I like to go out. Going out is the other to going out. Yes. Only that. You can have a compliment. You know, I like going out and continue the idea, right? Uh, on weekends, for example. Okay, interesting. And now it sounds an advanced <laughs> sentence. Uh -huh. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, porque queda como incompleta. I like going out. Now on weekends, yeah, it sounds better. Weekends. Okay. Let's start the other one. I start I, back. Okay, <laughs> you. 
I start my new semester at the Yes, I agree. Okay, so that's for the word hate. I have the other one right here, which is for like. Uh, you agree with that? We can go with, with, with that one, or we can change it. It's up to you. It's okay. Okay, all right. Okay, so I have the start one as well. So, oh, sorry. So I have the professor will start meeting with us once a week, and the professor will start to meet with us once a week. It's okay. Okay, so uh, the last one, begin. Do you have like an idea of what the kind of example you want to put in? For example, I begin working at 8 a.m. every day. Working at like that. Uh huh. And I I begin to work, and then the next began to build the bridge last winter. Okay. This one was start. This one was begin. Are you already typing in the platform? Yes. But I cannot yeah. see that. No, at this moment. At this moment. Yes, we are uh, putting this. I put it in the chat. Oh, really? In okay. the chat, because uh, William can do it in the platform too. Oh, interesting. That is a team. Ah, work. okay. You don't see my. <laughs> no, my, we don't. Uh, I don't know, William, if you can. No, I can. No, I can, but William can. too. We put <laughs> two of us. You were going to say, William, come on, William. <laughs> yeah, yes. I, I was. Uh, um, Helping his butt. <laughs> uh, okay, don't worry. <laughs> I can okay, but I understand what he's saying. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. okay so joy. Is it only me or is William as well? <laughs> okay. okay. Is uh, in nah, the chat now, we, William. Yeah. You can copy and put in the chat. Okay. okay. Put it you and I. Two of us. Okay. Don't forget to write David and William. So tomorrow we're gonna be checking those examples. And I know that these are gonna be the ones coming from you. Okay. Is, is correct or no, Genesis? What? What do you think is correct? Um, I yeah. mean, the way correct, the correct way. Yeah, I think, but I cannot see the four point A because that that thing is covering it. The that menu with the number four point A, I cannot read it. Aha, uh -huh. she likes to get up early. Yeah, sure. I think for that one, I have, uh, I like to drink coffee every morning and mm -hmm. I like drinking coffee every morning, so. I'm so sorry, kid. What happened with? Oh, oh, it moved, but it's yeah. page 23, I think a little. Yeah, she likes to get up early in the morning. Um, yeah. No me afecta el texto. Huh? The, the, the tablet is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that's cool that you can edit the, the PDF. Yes. yes, I try to edit, but 
how yeah. do you do that may i ask because in my case i'm not able to do that you know to type in a pdf document yes it's very difficult i, I don't know <laughs> what happened but uh, sometimes mm -hmm. this thing don't, don't work <laughs> no coopera el pdf so you know i don't know if it's easier if you go to the platform and then you can start like typing the same sentences right yeah i guess for me it's easier but no if not try to finish here okay and after that you go and do that activity in the platform as well <laughs> you like to drink in mm -hmm. a cup of coffee and drink but I think that is infinitive uh -huh. without the ing. So drink. She, she likes drinking or she likes to drink. Uh -huh. Drink. Cake. cake. Oh. Yeah, right. I can see it. Right no, lo voy a reiniciar mejor porque no, no. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, we still have time. Mm. No. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh. No. Lo cerraré y volver, volveré a abrir lo mejor porque no, no. Ok, no, that's ok. Se, se trabó. Creo que porque lo estamos viendo, se apenó el PDF, eso ya. No, que, no, <risa> no lo veamos. Sí, no, 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 no agarra ni, ni para atrás ni para adelante. <risa> no, ya dice, no, estas no son horas de estar haciendo estas actividades. Uh -huh. Come on, Francisco, you need to be sleeping. You know? no, Ay, no, que lo estábamos chuleando. Eso es, no le va bien el PDF. Uh -huh. <risa> en mi caso nunca he podido hacer eso, that's why I was like, Wow, how do you do uh, that? Yeah, no, it's, I think, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a version of the of the Adobe Adobe Reader. Ah, oh, yeah. The Adobe Reader. So probably we have the free version, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> 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 uh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> No, no tengo que trabajar, me voy a ver a otros chicos. Ok, bye. bye. Esta cosa sí que es. <laughs> Don't worry, we have time. Ok, thank you, Genesis. <laughs> Did you guys finish? The yes. sentence? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, very nice sentences. Veamos. I begin doing aerobics in the morning. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's gonna, uh -huh. Who's that? Ya vamos a preguntar si es verdad o no. Expectativa, dice, I will begin. Uh -huh. I will begin, right? Uh -huh. I start working, yeah, muy bien. Like talking, okay. Who's that? But it's not in this class, right? La número cuatro. He likes talking so much in the meeting. No es nada personal, ¿verdad? Nadie de la clase, ¿no? Right? No, 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 no. <laughs> Aquí en confianza, teacher. Ah, no. He likes talking. <laughs> We prefer going to the beach. Yeah, claro que sí. I continue to learn English on weekend. Si solo la número uno, tal vez English. Si igual siempre en 
con oh, yeah, 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 right? yeah, sorry, sorry. That's it, porque si es un nombre. Yeah, 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 teacher. I'm sorry. And let's see, it. let's see. No. You cannot edit out the English. Okay, so. Teacher. Interesting. Tell me. I have a doubt. Yeah, tell me. Uh, it's correct to say I start to work in a new company. What is the difference in to say in to at or at? Okay, at is like a general place. Le pongo la idea, okay. We are at the school, que sería el lugar grande, el edificio, in the classroom. And ¿dónde está el salón? Ah. Está en la escuela, okay. Es ah. como algo específico. So in this case, in the new company, yes, sería esta, esta correcta. Because okay. if we say at the new company, not really. Sería... In, in the, when I say I work in the, or at account, accountant department. Oh, I see, okay. Or in, at the company, in the accountant department. Ah, okay. Porque estamos okay. en específico. Okay, o si queremos mencionar el nombre de la empresa, ahí uh -huh. sí, I work I at, work at, eh, at claro, claro. I work at, claro, ahí sí, porque uh -huh. estamos siendo específicos. With the name of this business or place. Oh, Esa okay. es la diferencia, so yeah. Thank you. So, did you go to the platform? Do you have already these sentences there? In this moment, we, we okay. are probably that. What time is it? <laughs> Come on, we just have five minutes. <laughs> so yeah, yeah have really fast. So don't worry. Don't forget to write your names, okay? Jessica's Harmin and Doris sentences. Because tomorrow oh, okay, we are going to okay. be reading those sentences. Okay. Okay, excellent. In the 3.2, right? Yes, 3.2. <laughs> 3.2. Okay. So, okay. Serving. Doris. Uh, oh. Nine.
solo es esto. Eh... Enviar. Finish. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. You did. <laughs> okay. So tomorrow we are going to be reading those sentences. <laughs> ya leí algunas. Interesting. Algunas muy interesantes. Okay. Time to check the attendance list so we can stop the class here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Okay, bye bye. Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. Here. Okay. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Okay, William, can you stay today just for five or 10 minutes? Okay. Okay, Telma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Madeline Chamilet Molina Gonzalez. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Kenya, is she still in the chat? Kenya, alguien puede ver si está Kenya? She's still there? No, no. Not really, right? Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Armin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Genesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Fredis Vladimir Cortez López. I'm here. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Doris. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Present. David Samuel Galdávez Monterrosa. <laughs> Present. And Andres Giovanni Valdivia Soporti. Present. Good night. Okay. Good night to you guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Good night. No. Es... Dígame. Este, no sé si dijo mi nombre. Sí, Doris, pero oh. pensé que ya no estaba por acá, Doris. Aquí estamos okay, no? ahorita. Es que sí, se tarda la, la... Okay. la máquina en regresar. Bye, muy bien. Aquí está. Ah, pues sí, ya, ya estamos. Muy bien, Doris. Bien, Don't worry. Bien. Okay, good night to you. Me quedo con, who was the one? Con William. Interesting. Okay, hi, William. Hi. ¿Cómo estamos? How is it going? I'm good. You're I'm, good. I'm excited, but... <laughs> really? How was your day? Did you have a good day? How was your day? It was a uh, typical day, but mm -hmm. a little stressed. Really? Yeah. Okay. A lot of things to do, but mm -hmm. it's good. I know. See, yo sé que a veces los días son pesados, right? But in my case, most of the time, Mondays and Fridays, they get really busy, you know, because I have a lot of activities yeah. to do, right? So, muy bien, William. Eh, avanzado número dos, advance number two, congratulations. Ya estamos en el avanzado dos. ¿Cómo nos sentimos con el avanzado dos? It can be English or Spanish, ¿ok? Ya estamos fuera de clase, no Ok. Uh -huh. Ahí vamos, teacher. La verdad. 
¿Qué nos haciéndole, cuesta? Haciéndole fuerza. Yo... <risa> haciéndole fuerza. De... <risa> sí. No, güey. No, no. <risa> no. Requiere un montón de sacrificio. Ay, no, yo sé que es eh, uno, eh, de por sí, venir después del trabajo y tener clase dos horas es como, es un gran reto, pero no. Sí, este, veo resultados. ¿Cuántos módulos William ha estado en, en, en inglés para el trabajo? ¿O es la primera vez? Yo ¿no? comencé right. desde el principiante, la verdad. Really. Creo que soy uno de los. Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo? Nunca había conocido a alguien que, que durara tanto. El avanzado dos. Nobody, casi sí. nadie. Yo, yo comencé en el porque uh -huh. um, este, esa, este, este web. Uh, me gradué, ¿va? estuve estudiando en la universidad y toda la cosa. Ajá. Y después dejé un montón de tiempo de no practicar. Ah, ok. Entonces, y después yo dije, ah, voy a comenzar para pues, ver cómo Ajá. es. O sea, ni quise hacer el examen ni nada. Y así, o sea, la... y así ha seguido normalmente. Pero ¿y la carrera llevaba inglés o no en la universidad? Sí, sí teníamos como, teníamos ese, lo básico que eran 10 niveles. Ah, pero, pero es inglés es es técnico, bien. me imagino. Inglés técnico. No sé, o sea, es un inglés como, como lo dan en todos lados. Ah, ok, ja, pues sí. Sí, Ajá. porque a veces si es inglés técnico, depende de la carrera, solo ven ese vocabulario y no se salen de ahí. Ah, pues sí, es inglés, no, no. creo que es normal. No, es normal. Inglés de normal, <ríe> se puede decir. Ajá. Los cursos eh, regulares. Ajá, sí, porque aquí en inglés corporativo hay dos tipos de cursos. Inglés para todos e inglés para el trabajo. Y sí, cambian bastante, cambia. Sí, bastante. cambia un montón. Sí, un montón, Ajá. un montón cambian. Pero sí, eh, yo he sentido, he escuchado desde las, vamos por la clase 16, sí, muy buena habilidad de expresar ideas, la pronunciación igual, estamos bien. Eh, ¿Qué más? ¿Cómo nos sentimos con las skills? Speaking, listening, writing. O incluso la gramática. ¿Cómo nos sentimos con esas cuatro skills? ¿Cuál nos cuesta lo, más? ¿Qué es más fácil? Lo que me, yo lo que siento que me cuesta más la gramática en realidad. La gramática, porque si sí, de entender sí. entiendo mucho y todas. Ajá. Agarro mucho más de lo que, ajá. Okay. Pero sí hay, hay como que partes en las que sí me quedo como que. Vale, por ejemplo, el tema de ahora. Eran gerunds and infinitives. Sé que a veces es muy amplio este tema para verlo en una o dos clases. Y si lo hemos visto, creo que no lo hemos visto como tema, tal cual. Así como estos son los Jerons en Infinity. O tal vez sí, pero no tan... Eh, porque no recuerdo en qué módulo anterior se, se da este tema. No, pero, en realidad no. No se no, ve. No, no, no se ve, visto, ¿verdad? Yo no, creo no. que sí. Yo estaba chequeando. No. Y yo, ¿Será que ya lo vieron? ¿Será que no? Porque... Sí, sí tenemos una idea de cómo usar los infinitivos. Simplemente sí. es algo que no sale natural, ni siquiera sabemos que son infinitivos y los usamos. Los germs también, porque sí, la primera actividad estaba escuchando cómo utilizaban los germs en infinitivos y sí, creo que todos lo usan, lo usan bien. Pero la gramática muchas veces aquí la vemos con definiciones. ¿Por qué? Porque simplemente es parte de aprender un nuevo idioma, de saber cómo se llama la estructura, de tal vez tener una definición sobre qué es un infinitive y qué es un gerund, pero porque es parte de conocer la estructura. Pero creo que tal vez no es tan necesario memorizar, tal vez sí tener anotado o comprender de qué se trata. Ok, infinitive, saberlo distinguir en la oración. Ah, sé que necesita... Eh, el to y, y el verbo, right? Como la forma base del verbo, esos son infinitivos. Que muchas veces sí. no expresa un, un tiempo gramatical, el pasado, el presente, aunque muchas veces lo utilizamos en el presente, right? Simple present tense. Pero así veamos la gramática. Eh, sí, a veces puede ser difícil, pero no sé qué estructura es la que nos cuesta más entonces. El pasado, el presente, el futuro, presente continuo. Hay tantas estructuras en inglés. Ay, sí, hay, hay varias estructuras en que las que sí, es, es, sí, están como, siento que, el, que como casi no se practican. Ajá. O sea, sí, hay, 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 much, hay estructuras que, por ejemplo, que sí, siento que como son repetitivas y son como las más, 
las, las más, más usadas, comunes, entonces, más usadas. Ahí, ajá, las más comunes pero hay otras que sí como que las estructuras ya más uh, ajá. no sé como pasado y que y cuando mezclan entonces uh -huh. hay donde no Por hay ejemplo, que no las entiendas sí, como sí, tipo, no, no se no, usan no, ajá. a veces se van olvidando cómo a, aplicarlas por ejemplo, la voz pasiva, no sé si a, uh -huh. la voz pasiva y el presente perfecto son como de los temas que a veces son más difíciles de usar. Los más fáciles son el presente continuo, uh -huh. incluso el pasado puede tener un poco de dificultad por la pronunciación de los verbos regulares uh -huh. e irregulares, uh -huh. tal vez. Pero son estructuras que sabemos identificar. Ok, entonces la gramática. Entonces, ¿qué hacer para reforzar gramática? Uno no es tan necesario que vayamos, leamos definiciones o algo así, sino más que todo estudiar la gramática en contexto, como lo hicimos ahora, tener las preguntas en general, y ahí en estas preguntas podemos ver eh, diferentes estructuras, veamos, la número uno, ¿qué estructura sería? What food have you never, have you never eaten? Si sí es cierto que estamos utilizando un infinitivo al final que es to try, pero uh -huh. a la misma vez el have you never eaten, ese es el presente perfecto. Entonces, lo entiendo y ni siquiera recuerdo que se llama presente perfecto, la número uno. <risa> de eso se trata la gramática, de saber utilizarla de una forma, eh, como hay una forma de llamarle a esto inductiva, deductiva, o sea que no tengo que seguir como o las reglas, saber que se llama así esa estructura para utilizarla, esa es la idea incluso ya del nivel avanzado, saber manejar las estructuras sin saber cómo se llaman, porque esta parte gramatical, have you never eaten, todo eso se le llama el presente perfecto y ni siquiera sé, la idea era que practicaran esto, to try, pero a la misma vez están utilizando otra estructura. Acá. Intended. Hablamos también del pasado y ni siquiera nos dimos cuenta que estábamos hablando del pasado porque la idea era practicar el to do. Esta estructura. Entonces esa es la idea de la gramática. ¿Qué más? La número tres. Q. ¿Qué pieza de gramática es esta? Cool. Cool, reasonably. Reasonably. Expect to find a key. Podrías. Okay. Uh -huh. Otra forma de gramática que ni siquiera a veces sabemos. Entonces, esa es la idea. Veamos la número cuatro, si podemos identificar qué estructura estamos utilizando. Aquí está. A simple person. El simple present y estamos utilizando un auxiliar y estamos utilizando una WH word. Entonces, muy bien, simple present. La utilizamos, ni siquiera nos dimos cuenta que estábamos utilizando el simple present. La número 5, lo mismo, simple present en forma interrogativa. Number 6 es el presente perfecto. Number seven es el pasado. En number eight. What do you, uh, simple, Ajá, present. simple present. Entonces, esa es la idea. Siento que si nos vamos a estudiar la gramática o si nos fuéramos a estudiar, ok, el presente perfecto, una clase. El presente simple en otra clase. El pasado en otra clase. Sería como bien frustrante porque son demasiadas estructuras. Es mejor estudiarlas de esta manera. Voy y busco preguntas en internet. Hay tantas preguntas al azar para conversar. O sea, conversation topics or questions. Y de esa manera se van eh, reforzando la gramática, practicando todas las estructuras a la misma vez para no basarnos, porque siento que eso ya sería muy básico, es volver a los niveles básicos, ir estudiando estructura por estructura, aunque no es malo, es bueno también reforzarlas si tenemos dudas. Ok, aparte de la gramática, ¿qué nos cuesta? ¿O sería como lo más eh, que nos reta? 
ahorita en el nivel avanzado 2? Mm, expandir igual el vocabulario. Ok, vocabulario. Creo que este módulo y este tipo de contenido nos reta. Nos reta a uno, identificar vocabulario nuevo, porque sí hemos visto demasiado vocabulario que ni siquiera usamos. Sí. O, o sea, porque no son temas de conversación habitual. A hablar de ética, nadie va a querer hablar de ética conmigo en una También. conversación natural, no creo, ¿verdad? A menos que esté en el trabajo y quiera practicar mi inglés. No creo, es como, ok, te doy un ejemplo de ética. Come on, ¿qué estás hablando? Okay? Pero nos reta a tener vocabulario. Ya si nos toca alguna vez hablar de ética, que es el que más me recuerdo, la unidad 2 me dejó tan traumada, tanto que leí de ética, de ética. Eh, hasta a mí me ha retado. O sea, nuevo vocabulario que yo nunca había utilizado. Entonces, uh -huh. también es otra forma. El inglés lleva tres bases. Número uno es la confianza. Entonces, William, entre más confianza hay para hablar, expresarse, es la base de todo. Luego le agregamos la gramática y el vocabulario. Es, ahí se nos forma como una pirámide. ¿okay? Esa es la forma de aprender cualquier idioma, en este caso el inglés. Entonces, el reto está en atrevernos a hablar. Por eso me gusta mandarlos a salas de dos o tres compañeros, porque ahí o hablan o hablan. No hay otra opción. You practice or you practice, right? Yeah. Exacto. Y también apoyar. Hay compañeros que les da pena hablar bastante. No les gusta. Hay otros que lo contrario. Volunteers, mm -hmm. yo teacher, mi teacher. Y todos los días y todas las clases y cualquier actividad están dispuestos. Es entendible, no todos son iguales. Pero arretémonos, ah, cuando estemos en los grupos, tal vez, yo ese día quiero hablar tantos minutos, quiero expresarme tantos minutos. Y de igual manera, apoyar a los compañeros. Ah, eh, escuché que pronunciaste esto mal y yo estoy seguro que se pronuncia de esta manera. ¿Por qué no? Ese es otro tipo de aprendizaje, corrección entre compañeros, no solo corrección de maestro o estudiante, no. Y también autocorrección. Si yo no sé cómo se pronuncia esta palabra, yo tomo la iniciativa, voy y busco cómo se pronuncia y repaso hasta que se me memorice, hasta que la memorice y que la use en una eh, oración y que jamás lo olvide. Es otra forma también de aprendizaje. Siempre la motivación es no nos quedemos con lo que vemos en la clase. Practiquemos porque recursos tenemos. Ahorita la tecnología es algo que nos ayuda a practicar. El teléfono en inglés, las redes sociales en inglés, para que nos acostumbremos a todo inglés, ¿ok? De vez en cuando tratar de leer algún artículo o algo en inglés para aprender alguna palabra nueva. No sé. Creo que es, es lo que se me viene a la mente ahorita para que no bajemos el nivel, que sigamos, al contrario, avanzando un poquito más. Pero estamos bien, William. Estamos muy bien, pronunciación bien, comprensión estamos muy bien. Eh... Solo sigamos practicando para que no se nos pierda ese ritmo. Ok, William. Ok, teacher. So, estamos haciendo un buen trabajo. You're doing a great job. And keep on doing the same. Ok, participating in class. Asking if you have questions about the activities or pronunciation. Or, I don't know, any type of question, you know. I'm going to be here to help you in case you need. Ok, you need some help. So, Okay. Eh, básicamente esto era todo. Gracias, William, por quedarse un ratito. A descansar, ¿ok? And see you tomorrow. Ok, see you. Ok, bye bye. Have a great night. Same to you.